the gizmo in, in Vertex Tools 1.1 allows you to perform most of the um, the, the common task operations um, while modeling. Uh, it's very handy, especially for freehand modeling. Uh, you can do move operations, and as you move, you can see the tooltip. And also, um, in the bottom of the value control box, I'll say distance, which you can adjust uh, just like any other tool. To be pleased with that. In order, in order to get precision um, uh, adjustments made. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. You also have uh, scaling, and scaling acts in the axis it, it is on by default. I pull the blue one, and it just goes up and down. Red one, but if you press Shift, it will um, do a um, 3D scaling instead of just a one-dimensional scaling. Uh, when you hold Shift down, it doesn't matter what axis you um, use to initiate the, the scaling. And here we just uh, uh, inflated a small portion of this cube. And I can select this and you can also rotate. Now, when I do rotate here, if I keep the cursor within the circle, you can see it snaps to each of these um, little tick marks there. Uh, if, I, if I keep it inside, it, it does a full snapping sort of every uh, 15 degrees but if I keep it outside it moves freely although it will snap when it gets close to each um, each angle uh, all, all this snapping is controlled from model info units and if you disable um, angle snapping in model info uh, it also disable angle snapping in, um, in the gizmo So here we just quickly uh, extruded a, um, well, I don't even know what kind of shape this is, but uh, as, as I rotated the gizmo, you can see that it, it, the angle changed with it. And now you have, if you right click, there's a, there's a gizmo submenu here, and it allows you to quickly align and the gizmo orientation. And the default is aligned to local, which will make the gizmo align to um, uh, to the current model axis. Now if I make let's quickly make a group here and rotate it. Now if I select a piece here you can see the axis of this gizmo aligns to the, uh, to the axis here. If I enter this group, it has aligned to the local axis of, of the group. Um, also, if I change the model axis, or, <coughs> yeah, the, the world axis here, I select that, and it matches that. However, if I go and choose a light world, um, it, you can see it keeps different orientation here. If I go into back into the group, you can see it has the same alignment as when I was outside. That is because um, when it's aligned to world, it aligns to the um, absolute world um, axis in the model when you. Uh, when you're in the root context and right click the axis and press reset, uh, and this is the absolute origin, and everything will align to this, no matter what context you're in. Another 
alignment feature is um, this view. Now, no matter how I rotate, the gizmo will always uh, be per perpendicular to the view. So, this particular, if we go to parallel. Some rotation there, turn around, room. and sometimes for organic modeling, it's, it's quite nice to just keep it in the um, keep it aligned to the view, and you can quickly use the camera to modify the direction of, um, of uh, how you. Uh, manipulate the geometry. Um, uh, although, if you want, you can also pick your own custom alignment. Uh, you basically pick points the same way as you would place the model axis. You pick an um, origin and pick the red, the green, and it gives them lines to that. Um, you can also, while you're picking the points, you could be pressing shift and it will pick the orientation of the face or edge you pick. So in this case, we aligned it to that face. Um, so if you want to Say we want to grab these vertices there. Yep. Yeah. New gizmo aligned to custom, and we just shift click on that particular face, and we will basically be modifying. Well, now we just moved that face perpendicular to that surface. Another item here is orientation lock, which is if I enable that, um, I'm just going to go back to local axis. If I rotate while orientation lock is on, the gizmo doesn't rotate at all. If I disable it, and you see it keeps moving with the rotation. Another uh, feature in with the gizmo that isn't directly visible um, in, in the UI is that you can select I'm just going to disable some selection here. To select some vertices and use move and you press down control it will be it will ext start extruding edges and just move and a bit of move rotate and I can even go to the family control box and adjust the length because I want it to be exactly one meter. And as I go along, I can just keep mo uh, modeling um, this pipe or really bizarre sculpture which I'm making. And um, you can see here. What I'm doing now, it's it's quite nice to have the um, orientation lock disabled because the, the gizmo moves uh, with the geometry uh, in direction which I'm, I'm extru ex extruding it. Uh, if I go back to world, no, actually, I want to start extruding from that face in that direction. Uh, you 
start off with this. Give it a little rotate, make a return, make a rotation bay, go up for a little bit, rotate, extrude, upwards, and I can just keep on defining the path for for the extrusion then. For um, for organic modeling that's quite nice because you can easily just extrude um, faces to make new loops, new rings and um, just combine it with the rest of the tools to create your geometry.